Taiwan's presidential election campaign is into the home stretch ahead of Saturday's critical vote, with rallies across the island this week. Strained relations with China and talk of possible war make this one of the most consequential votes Taiwan has ever seen. We traveled an hour southeast of Taipei to Elon, where the ruling DPP met its faithful in a raucous evening rally. Now, unlike the opposition KMT and TPP parties that favor closer links with mainland China, the incumbent DPP prefers maintaining a status quo of de facto self-determination and building a fairly sovereign Taiwan identity internationally. Taiwan President Tsai Ing-wen here in Elon stumping for the candidate she hopes will replace her after eight years in the Taiwan presidential office. That is her vice president, Lai Ching-de. Two leaders Beijing has branded as separatists. China has repeatedly warned that any pursuit of independence could lead to military action against Taiwan. Are you a Jin Jin Jin? Warships and fighter jets keep coming from China as intimidation. When we have such an aggressive neighbor, we must protect our territory. China has definitely interfered in the run-up to the vote. Missiles and fighter jets are some examples, but it only pushes people to vote for the DPP. Sometimes the interference is simple and obvious, like through TikTok and other social media platforms. I want more legislation on national security. It will be safer, especially cybersecurity-wise. Taiwanese are distinguishing between autocracy and democracy in this election. People are worried about casting the wrong vote and losing freedom and democracy for generations to come. This is why people feel this election is so significant. I support independence. There are challenges facing Taiwan to gain international recognition. But Taiwan does deserve a place in the inter international community, not blocked by China. Yes, but does a lie victory mean we're closer to war? I don't believe so. If China wants to attack, China would have attacked long ago. Taiwan is actually very easy to defend. Taiwanese people want to continue to rule itself. Stephen Engel, Bloomberg News, Elon, Taiwan.